Okay, this is Giovanni from the Lower Than Podcast. Today we have the Daily Insomnia guys. I was actually on their episode when I met my baby mama. Then I went the next week with some crazy white. That's not the point. We talk Mexican stuff because they're Mexicans like me, mole, uh, probably ass-eating, sex pills, and Jehovah Witnesses. All right, Lobo Den. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Loading Podcast. I'm your host, Giovanni Diaz, and my left is James Webb, people of Comedy Studio. What's up, James? What up? Uh, and again, we got some Mexicans, Ramon and Gamal, with a G, up, from y'all? Daily Insomnia Podcast. How are you guys doing? Dude. We're doing good, man. We're doing well, good. Well, who cares? Because right now, what matters <laughs> is my fucking sponsor. Go to LordVegas.com, guys. LordVegas.com. I don't know. Look, there, some of you live in... in and your parents, your parents pay for all your stuff, so you think you're socialist or communist. But this is America. We're a capitalist country, <laughs> and we need shit to get paid. So I need you to go to LordVegas.com, right? Look, they have a unlimited run, limited, unlimited, a limited run of T-shirts, hats, hoodies, jackets, wallets, bags. I'm going to open up this beer because I'm Mexican, and these guys brought it. Independent, uncompromised, elevate your lifestyle. So I need money, right? Any, any homeless people out there? So if you're homeless and you happen to be listening to the podcast, go rob somebody right mm. now because crime is going up all over the country. So who gives a shit? Go rob somebody somebody and take that money and go to lordvegas.com use the promo code lower down 25 percent off so you can get cool gear so now if you're homeless and you're walking around and you maybe you can get a job but it doesn't matter because you're mentally ill so it's not going to happen but you're going to be really look really cool biting people or doing whatever you do and saving 25 percent off what are you going to do with that extra 25 percent buy methamphetamine or crack cocaine remember the 80s the cia brought it to los angeles <laughs> because they don't like black people or whatever the fuck happened so go to lordvegas.com Use the promo code LOBODEN or else you are a CIA informative and you want to have sex with... Uh, who was that guy? The military guy that worked for Reagan? I forgot his name. He uh, he had a show on Fox News. I don't Pull know. Pull up. What? Uh, <laughs> what? He worked for Reagan. <laughs> Put a white guy for Reagan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any white guy. Yeah. He, he was a white dude for Reagan. Reagan. <laughs> he was in the military. Uh, he was Colonel or something. Not Colonel Sanders, right? Uh, Reagan. <laughs> That's <laughs> not how you spell Reagan. <laughs> you fucking liberal. Come on. Greatest president of all time, Ronald Reagan. He was a CIA. Uh-huh. He was the put general Reagan general Panama or drugs. Hey, Reagan gave my happened. dad actually citizenship. Yeah, he gave country, uh, amnesty so. to a bunch of people. Well, let's go. Not Noriega. Uh, fuck. Ali North. Remember Ali North? He got a show on, oh, on Fox Ali News. Ali North. Yeah. Ali North. So, anyways, bring him, bring him up. I have to look at this guy. Yeah. The greatest president. That was I remember Ali North. Anyways, nah, they, what I'm, I was saying, I'm young, bro. He's young. These are yeah. these. We got young Mexicans in the house. Yeah, young. Yeah. So you get Latinx comedians. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Get the fuck hey. out of here. Shit, hey, I'm walking out right now. Man. Yeah, dude. Latinx. <laughs> hey, we don't we don't believe in that shit, bro. We don't that's, believe in that shit. That's Come white people now. shit, dude. Hey, that is white people shit. At the, at the or like really order. or like really young, impressionable <laughs> Latinos. Latinos. Fuck out of here. shit. But you guys are both Mexican, right? Yeah. Yeah. By birth. Some may say I might be <laughs> Middle Eastern. You know what I'm saying? There's some speculation. Gamal with a G, right? Gamal with a G. Yeah. Like in Central America, they got a bunch of weird fuck. Oh, there's Ali North. That's some of it. He had a show on Fox. I knew him yeah. from, from Fox. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. And apparently they're he was just giving the... out shows to everybody. Hey, let's get on there, bro. He was on let's Col- get on there. Hey, he had a Republican, call- fuck it. He was a Call of Duty <laughs> fucking he was in Call of Duty. Yeah, well, hey, yeah. Call of Duty covered <laughs> Reagan's administration, so yeah. Oh shit, dude. Bring okay. down that wall. Ali North was in it. Yeah, Black Ops too. He was Black in Ops too. Yeah. I just knew him from, um, I would watch him on, on Fox, and he had a show, and then I found out the whole, uh, and then I got into conspiracies, and I found out about the crack and the CIA, guys. and that one, uh, doc, that one, it was a reporter who killed himself, and the cop who killed himself, uh, eventually. Hey, everybody just comes themselves, huh? Yeah. Suicide? Yeah, Suicide? Pretty if you're, popular. If you're, yeah, if you're involved with some <laughs> government shit, because um, there was that plane, there was that... Who was it? You guys know the pilot? Didn't Tom Cruise play him or something? Oh, like you're talking about oh, um, the cocaine for one. Clinton? Yeah. I uh, know yeah, what's yeah. His name. What's his name? What's his name? Ernesto, uh, call him out. Um, oh yeah, he. Uh, no, no, no. It, the, the Tom Cruise. He played his character, cocaine. Oh, uh, Ernesto looks Seals. high. Oh, he is high. <laughs> Barry Seals. <laughs> Barry Seals. Yeah, Barry yeah. Seals, yeah. yeah. Barry Dope ass <laughs> movie, by the way. Dope ass <laughs> movie, dude. Who played Barry Seals? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah. He's four nine, Barry right? Yeah. yeah, but that dude got murdered. Like he got murdered by the cartel later, or right? Yeah. They did, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, what's his face? Um, um, 
the Colombian cartel. What's, what's El called? Gordo, huh? Pablo, Pablo Escobar. Got yeah, killed. Pablo Escobar, okay. who killed Kill a bunch of people. All right. So, do anyway, you guys have a? Do you guys live in like? I'm not gonna say it's a Waukegan or Rockford, but there's a bunch of Mexicans in Belvedere, yeah, right? Yeah, Belvedere, yeah. Illinois. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I I knew this is how this is my introduction <laughs> to Belvedere. <laughs> I, uh, a lot of people know the north like that, you know what I'm saying? No. Oh, we have, uh, winter's coming? <laughs> winter's coming, bro. I, 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 the I, I, north. I, I, I've never, <laughs> I never saw that show. That's <laughs> You and James, you guys like... Uh, uh, yeah, Game of Thrones, baby. Well, no, we, we, what's we, it, King? What's the name of that Game show of with Thrones. dragons? Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, Game of Thrones. Oh, has that one chick. She's pretty hot. But look. A lot of chicks are hot. Yeah, what the fuck? The one? The one with the with the hair. The dragon lady. Daenerys. Yeah, Daenerys. Daenerys. Can you pull her up? Pull up Daenerys, dude. <laughs> Pull it up, bro. Pull up. Dude. We're not looking at porn, bro. What do you mean, man? Hey, Pull I, the vibe. Hey, guys, I got a wife at home that, um... <laughs> I mean, we can if you hey, want. Daenerys hey, Targaryen. Hey, she's... Look at that. Chef's kiss, Imagine bro. her licking your she... balls. Ah, oh, fuck. While she's dude. pregnant with your child. That's something else she could lick yesterday. <laughs> but look. <laughs> while her mom and son are at the festival getting food for biscuits and gravy but look anyways um Should now be. can you google Lori lightfoot nudes real quick we haven't done that in a while Lori lightfoot Lori yeah. lightfoot what the Don't fuck give is Lori lightfoot nudes don't do that to me dude let's oh uh, <laughs> let me see. Shit. hey what are we doing here man hey <laughs> What is that? Is that her? God, is that her? That's some long no, ass neck, bro. That's a long that, neck. That's the chick she extended that, that bitch, bro. They busted into her house. Remember that chick? Hey. Oh, yeah. Somebody broke into her house. No, the <laughs> cops. The cops raided her. <laughs> why? And she got like seven thought, million like, dollars just... or something. <laughs> Wait, why'd they raid her? They thought she was like a, it was like a bad SWAT call or something. <laughs> and they, they, she got like seven million dollars from the city no for way. it. Hey, so I have a quick question before yeah. we get into this podcast. No, uh, okay. The quick question oh, we is: <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We talking. started, you know, the podcast. <laughs> oh, if you are in your house nude, and can you get? Oh, look, Megan Gailey. Can you get arrested? Because I had a uh, argument, not an argument, a discussion with my girlfriend mm-hmm. yesterday, and I was like, "Hey, the blinds were down. Like, what if what somebody walked by?" She's like, "No, it's not illegal if you're in your house. Do you guys know that?" Like if you're having sex well, in your well, house, it's it all, private it, property, dude. It all depends how how close you are to a school. Oh, um, and if okay. if you're outside of the school that. zone, because I guess you said there was. If a, you got a school zone, hey, you live life, man. Yeah, <laughs> so all swinging in the air. Can you, you can know, like, like can you, I don't know, bro. Uh, indecent exposure in your house? I was just trying to look no. this up because I was like, hey, if, you, if you're not exposing yourself in your house, why are you living, mm. bro? Bro, why are you living? That's all I do is just be walk around the new dude. No, I'm always. I could fucking lunch, fucking naked, yeah. bro. I don't give a shit. Come on. We don't have. We have a public indecency. I want you to see what's going on in the house. Oh, Farvahar. That's <laughs> Farvahar. <laughs> How do you say his last name? Farvahar. Farvahar. He's a comedian and lawyer. Important of intent. Intent. The importance of intent in public indecency. All right. Okay. So if, it's, if I'm doing it on purpose, maybe. Okay. I think even like if you leave the shades open and you're purposely doing it at four o'clock every day at four, uh-huh. eh, we got a problem. Okay. The kids are walking by. You know kids are walking that's by. What, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Think about the kids sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you guys have a. I met you guys because you guys live in Belvedere, Illinois. Yeah. And yeah. the reason Belvedere. I know Belvedere Beautiful is town. I did a show uh, in Beloit or something yeah. and mm-hmm. had sex with this chick there, this older lady. Mm. And then her son worked. Her and her son, because I was was coming later that day. They worked you at were the coming? same. No, they were. <laughs> they were working. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I came in the morning like, inside. Yeah, she yeah, couldn't yeah, have yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. Hey. No, I asked her like, hey, "Cheers to that, dude." Cheers Can you have kids? She's like, "No." Cheers I was like, "Can that, I dude. come inside?" She's like, "Go ahead." I left my pen there. But you ask? Oh shit! I just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey. Oh, you're trying to criminate yourself to turn. No, no, no. It's all jokes. It's all fun and games. Oh, yeah. On a good time. So I, I. Done it. No, I didn't. I no, I did come in her signer. But her and her son worked at the Chrysler factory oh, in yeah, Belvedere, yeah, yeah. Illinois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her son got her a job there. She was she was old. She couldn't have kids anymore. And she was a um yeah. a Rachel Dolezal, basically. She was a white lady, mm. but she had a little bit of an accent. And I was like, Where are you from? She's like, Oh no, you know. She grew up with all Mexicans. So she had this weird fake Mexican <laughs> accent, but she was a white chick. So then, but she had this. You guys remember Rachel Dolezal, right? What is she yeah. up to? She's dating Sean she, King she, now, or what are they going? She's darker than ever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is it Rachel Dolezal, right? Oh. She, look, look. Be, we're doing before and afters on this show yeah, before. Yeah, the forehead. Fuck me. Oh, um, that's your problem. <laughs> it's just, the forehead. That, that dome is. Oh, it's wow. up there, bro. That's why she she yeah. put the man. Okay, so all right. I see, she why. Got I see why she flipped. But you know that's what thing? that's what she did, like. <clears throat> Dolo's all, but anyway, so you guys started the podcast. When all right, when did you guys? How'd you guys start the podcast? Hey, 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 that's all you, bro. All you. Are you you want to go down a, a sad story, man? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lane? You got yeah, a rabbit hole. On me. So I mean, it basically started as this. Um, you know, obviously, you know, everybody and their mom are fans of Joe Rogan's podcast, right? 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, we were listening to podcasts, you know, Joe Rogan, um, Tiger Belly, the kid. you know, Fighting the Kid, Your Mom's House, you know, all these other podcasts. And I mean, this is like four, almost five years back. It's be five years in July, man. And um, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We would work out, come back to my crib, drink, and just talk shit. Work right. out, then drink. Yeah, yeah. basically, basically, just throw away the games. Throw away all the games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the fucking games, man. No games were made that year, dude. No, no. So uh, we just did it, and we would joke around, be like, "Man, dude, let's like, we should just record this." I mean, mm-hmm. we're doing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're spending an hour drinking and talking shit. Mm-hmm. We might as well just record it. And um, just one day, man, I had enough. I had enough. My fucking job, dude. <laughs> You know, it was, one, it was one of those moments where it was like, what kind uh, of job know, was it? I, I work in a hospital. Okay. Yeah. So, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's been a while. It's yeah, been a while. Yeah. 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 So, you know, <laughs> I, I deal with crazy people on, on, a, on a daily basis. Yeah. And I was like, um, I was like, oh, fuck this place. Oh, fuck this place. It's like, it's like, you know that moment when you're like, you're driving to work. Somebody's mm-hmm. walking in, they're sick. They're like, oh, I need your help. Get the fuck out yeah, of my get out, get out of here. Get fuck out of here. Where was? Yeah. And I just fucking, it was like two in the morning. I went on Amazon. I bought a little mixer, mm-hmm. a little, one mic, one mixer, two channel mixer, two channel mixer. And I was like, "We started fucking podcast as soon as I fucking get out of work." Yep. And that same fucking night, um, he came over. I'm like, I brought it out. I didn't even tell him. I'm like, "We're fucking doing this shit." One mic, dude. We were literally face to face doing yeah. this. Face oh, face you were like, yeah. It was one mic in the middle, dude. <laughs> and then we would just lean into it. Yeah. Heard you say something. That's like a, like a threesome with one guy and two basically, women. Basically, basically, it was it was a penis be, uh, in the middle between <laughs> yeah. us. And we each gave it a turn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and then from there, man, um, slowly but surely, fucking, now we're where we're at. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. So you guys, Five years in the making, man. you guys think uh, you guys think I, I look like Oscar, right? Because you guys had Oscar, <laughs> right? Yeah. And you're like, hey, Oscar, you hosted that uh, Mescal show. He was yeah. like, no, that was another Mexican comedian. <laughs> From Chicago, but that's happened. You know how many times it's happened to me? Like I've been on a list at a at a. So there's there's more Mexican comedians now in, in the scene, right? Oh, for yeah. sure. More but but before there wasn't too many, right? So I'd be. I remember I was at a mic and then somebody brought. I brought. I forgot. <coughs> I don't know. If it was Jason Acevedo, but I've been brought out by different mm-hmm. things. I was like, oh, you're on the list. I have you here. I was like, mm-hmm. dude, that's 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 not me. But there's a few few more of us. Anyway. Oh, for sure, there. man. It's all about if your name gets thrown out there, man. It's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You're doing some, you're doing some good work. You know what I'm saying? That's what, what it is. What I used to do is I used, I used to go to Mike's. And I'd sign up, put my name up, mm-hmm. and I'd leave because I had to go or whatever. I lived far away, but I'd leave it up so people would say. But anyways, I, I did your podcast was like a year ago. That was a year ago. Yeah. No, probably more, bro. At this point, is it? No, it was just last year. It was, was just last, last year. year. It was, just last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was okay. So I, I'll tell you when I did it. Right. So let's see. I did it December thirteenth. Probably look up book uh, daily insomnia. Yeah, daily insomnia. Go, go Giovanni. Daily, Giovanni. Yeah. I bet it's we I, recorded I, on I December thirteenth. She should show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's Daily Zomnia, uh on YouTube. Or on yeah. Instagram. How do you want to do it? On Instagram or Spotify or on iTunes. You can find us <laughs> weekly. <laughs> I'm going to try where, where, Instagram where? first, <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. Let's see. Emily Faye Miller, who's there? No, nah, but you're going you're to have to go way back on Instagram, bro. She's on yeah, too hot yeah, to handle. Uh, Daily Insomnia. What do we call it? YouTube. It's right there. Okay. Yeah. Daily Insomnia. Um, uh, Lobo. We call it the Den. Lobo. 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 I'll just type Lobo down and yeah. see what pops up. There we go. Right there. 166. Yeah. Oh, December, yeah. 50, oh, shit, dude. Oh, shit. You were right there. So wow. It came out the 15th. We recorded on the 13th. 13th yeah. of Sunday. Yeah, well, that was two years ago. Yeah, it's two years ago. I'm drinking. No, no, no. It's like, Wait, whatever. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you see that plastic straw? All right, go back. You see, I'm drinking out of a, of Man, a, I look, I look of so a silicone pretty, straw. Life hack. <laughs> Buy those silicone straws. Right, <laughs> if people who like to do cocaine, I'm not saying I do. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I, I think then I you did. Yeah. Allegedly, you've never done it. Allegedly. 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 But look at that Allegedly. straw. Allegedly. Look at that straw. What you do is you go buy these silicone. Go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They have them at a good deal. Or you can go to the other stores. You get the silicone straw, right? Cut one side at an angle. Make it about this big. So you could stick it right up your fucking nose, oh, wow. right? So it's very softer, you know. So let's say you like to do, you take medicine mm. that has to go up to your nose and it has to be mm. snorted. If you get those silicone straws, it's fucking perfect because you put it. Because I was at a, a friend's house, right, and he did cocaine, and he was showing me. He's like, "Oh, if you take this uh, uh, a pen and you cut a piece of it, but you know, be careful. It's kind of rough." And uh. I saw this straw, and I was like, "Oh, this is perfect, right?" So, anyways, we recorded this podcast on December thirteenth. Fifteen. Uh, yeah. No, that's when you released it. We recorded it on Sunday. This guy's good. He knows, bro. He knows. <laughs> hey, look, he knows, no, man. He knows no, how it works. He knows how it works. No, I know. The only reason I know this is because December 12th, I went on a date with my now. That's oh, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow, dude. Yeah. So in one way, 
You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about it. No, there, there's a connection here, dude. <laughs> hey, well, by the way, congrats. Thank congrats you. Th- I'm having a baby there. Yeah. I already, congrats, man. I already gave him his congrats. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, I'm going to say it on live, right? Right. right? But look, listen. Um, this is actually you guys are probably involved in this baby. So, I mean, oh, you weren't shit. there. We didn't DP my girl. No, uh-huh. no, no. Wait, if there's three guys airtight, that's airtight with three dudes, right? Yes. Yeah, because it's like vagina, holes, yeah. anal, and mouth. That, yeah. That's called airtight. It's called, a, it's called a train, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's called a train. That's called a train. train. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if you do all the holes, it's airtight. All hey, three yeah, right. DP, and then your balls touch another guy, whatever. You got to think about it. But Never I don't know. Happen. It's never happened. Happen. Yeah. So. So we, re- <laughs> we recorded this podcast, right? And then the day before, I went on a date with my girl. And then later that night, I had something set up with some crazy white chick. Mm. And then and then I blew her off because me and my girl uh, now st- kept hanging out. So then you guys, I, I release this thing every few weeks. I'm, mm-hmm. you know, I have, I, I build some, I release it. So if I say shit about a girl I'm trying to fuck on this podcast, I don't got to worry about it for yeah. three weeks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you guys released the very next day. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're, we're literally on the, on the, like if we record on Tuesday, it's out Wednesday. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, you know we record late. You know, yeah. always is it always at two a.m. or one? <sighs> no, not necessarily, man. It's, but here's the close, thing, man. Here's the thing with yeah. us. Uh, we we like to drink, obviously, in the podcast. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you've seen our drinks. That we yeah, do. you fucked up. And my life. sometimes, <laughs> you know, we drink a little too heavy. Where you know we say, "Hey, our podcast is gonna start at 10. No, nah, sometimes we start at one a.m. Yeah, sometimes we start at two a.m. Yeah. Sometimes we just cancel that day and do it the next fucking day. Just no alcohol. You just get wasted. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We just get wasted. Lately, bro, the drinks have been... I mean, fucking... always. The drinks are always uh, f- uh, phenomenal. What were you drinking on the way up here? I see you're drinking a lemonade. You know, I had a couple of margaritas <laughs> oh. before coming here. Yeah. And my thing is that I wanted to be sober for one time in the podcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I wanted to... Um, you know, I didn't want to go too hard today. Oh, we have yeah. to have chips in a little bit, but we'll get yeah. to them. Uh, thank you. But anyways... I. So you guys release the next fucking day, Yeah, right? dude. I mean, Audio. yeah, we record day. audios next day, but videos this, two days after. Yeah. This was kind of kind of fucked me and it kind of didn't. So you release it the next day. That yeah. white chick who I was going to hang out with yeah, yeah. listens to your podcast. Hey, no, hey, really. Hey, 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 you know, she like hey. us? Subscribe? No. Yeah, oh, no. Oh. So she, she messaged me. <laughs> Fuck. She listens to your podcast and she messages me, oh, so you could take a girl out on a proper date, but then you blow me off. <laughs> And I was like, I've been yeah, there. yeah. I was like, <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, that, that was daily slot mail, 1 to 25. Yeah, <laughs> dude, dude. I'm telling you, man. I got caught up in my podcast, too, a couple times, man. And they they, they, were, they were mad, my guy. Why did they get mad? mad. When I mean, they get mad because we're, we're, I mean, we're not really talking shit. We're not really talking about them, but we mentioned a little bit of something about them. And like, oh, I remember. She had a hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my girlfriend has a has a hemorrhoid right now. Dude, it came uh, to the point where we had to start using nicknames. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like raccoon eyes. Oh, we had, dude, raccoon um, eyes. Oh, raccoon. Uh, raccoon. Yeah. So the cool. way I do it is every girl from different city, I just name them that city. Oh, the girl from Chicago. A girl from uh, uh, Palatine. Girl from Rockford. Gary, Indiana. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I just say that. I said that location. He knows right away. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because you got you got to spread them out. You know what I'm saying? You can't have them all clumped up in one area. It's That's dangerous. Of, I had. I had. It's dangerous. I had what's kind of fucked up, but I had nicknames for different people. There okay. was uh, that my friends. I had a list, right? My girl looked at it. She's like, "What is this?" There was, uh, I, don't, I probably shouldn't say these, but <laughs> don't. Yeah. Hey, dude. I mean, we're, we're gonna release in two weeks from now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. We'll worry about okay. that. Uh, you know what? Episode, dude. <laughs> I didn't have these names. It, I was working on a sketch, right? Okay. okay. Uh-huh. And this character, in my sketch had these names allegedly. One of them was <laughs> the Hidden Pig, right? <laughs> what the. Fuck? The possum rat. Mm. I didn't. I didn't name her that. You know what I mean? It kind of looked like. Uh, what was it? There was the thing, right? And the thing didn't look bad. You know what I mean? She was just crazy. She was a yeah. girl. I've <laughs> talked about her podcast for. She was like, oh, she was at my house. She was like, oh, my brother used to rape me. Died of cancer. My parents say it should have been me. And I was like, you're like, hey, stop talking. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, hey, you're making me soft. Stop talking. <laughs> Dude, butter's dead. It, it it it. The last time I I. I this is a moment I had where I feel like I'm at church. She was it was on my birthday. Yeah. She was at my she was at my house, so it's on my birthday or Christmas. One some horrible day where it's my some birthday. Ho- or Christmas. Some holiday, right? Yeah. I picked yeah. her up from her house in a place called Racine, Wisconsin. <laughs> It's yeah, fucked. Like, Kenosha's sure. not for bad, sure. but Racine is fucked. No Kenosha. Okay. Kenosha's not bad, but if you go to Racine, it kinda when I drive around Racine, I feel like this is what is this what Detroit is supposed to look like? Like this is shitty. Uh, it's a fucking shithole. But anyways, I picked her up there. She goes to my house. On the way back to my house, she's like, "Oh, we're crossing the border, of Illinois, right?" She's like, "Just make sure you don't get p- pulled over, because I can't cross the state." And I was like, "Oh God, <laughs> why am I doing this, Javai? Just <laughs> go home and masturbate. Why?" And then I'm going. I'm crossing the border, and then 
And when we get there, she starts telling me the brother stuff. You, I've heard it before, right? It's not the first time I heard, okay, yeah, brother raped me, cancer. Okay, I, I know. All right, and then she was, and then she was like, oh, every time we do something, the next day we say we're gonna be together, then we're not. I'm like, <laughs> wait, no. wait, 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 slow down, slow down, Lobo, Lobo, slow down. <laughs> Her you brother? So no, me and her. Oh, oh okay, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. It's like when me and my brother we do stuff. I don't want to like leave town and like, what's going on there. Eh, well, but look, what, what I got a question for you, man. Go yeah, ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. I got a question for you. But basically, you know, like the first time we had, to, I was like, oh yeah. She's like, are we gonna? I want to be with you. I was like, oh, I want to be with you too. Blah blah blah. Hey, a romantic. And already. the next day, I'm, I'm trying to get laid. And the next day, <laughs> she fucking leaves because she's living with her fucking ex. Yeah. So I feel uh, like we're both yeah, bullshitting yeah. each other, like. Mm -hmm. But we're putting out this show like, all right, I want to be, uh, and then you go, we live, we don't talk for months. And then when she comes back, she's like, oh, you always, I was like, well, you could text me. Like, I was, finally, I was like, look, obviously we're bullshitting. Like, I don't want to be with you. We're, you're insane. And then, but at that point when she was like, so she walked her, she walked in on her baby daddy having sex with her stepdad. And I was just like, you know what? Holy wait, wait, wait. Shit. Baby daddy <laughs> with stepdad? Yes. That she lives wow. with right now. Or her current dad or stepdad. And I was like, when I heard that, I was <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just even too much for me. Wow. And I wasn't even that drunk yet. And I was like, man, I was like, let's just go to bed. I didn't even try. I was like, I'm not even. Like like, it's, a, like, it's, a, it's a boner killer, my guy. <laughs> and it was like, but usually the old me could get past all this stuff. But at that point, I felt it was, I matured where I was like, you know what, Giovanni? I'm too old for this shit. Like, stepdaddy getting fucking raped by baby dad. I was like, this is too much. Like, what are you doing? And I'm glad that happened. It was all those moments where I was like. Moment of clarity. Yeah, it was a moment. And I yeah. fucking, she went and then same thing. Sent those. her an Uber in the morning. <laughs> and then I was like. You sent her Uber? You're a nice guy, dude. You're yeah. a nice guy. I'm telling you that. You're a nice guy. Yeah, I am. I, no, I am a nice guy. Like, You're I might nice be. Guy. People like I slept with, I always yeah, yeah. would send Uber. Like, I always feel bad. You know what I mean? Like, I feel you. Like, like you had a question for me, dude. I, my question is, man, when she told you that the first time, for me, that's that that kills the vibe. I can't no longer, I can no longer do anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? Let just just let it leave it alone. How tall are you? I'm six two. I'm not. I'm five eleven, <laughs> so five ten. So look, tall dudes get plenty of play. The level of thirst I had, you know what I mean? As a uh, as a five nine guy who claims he's five ten, hey, you're, right, you're six foot on your profiles, right? <laughs> it, 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 and your heart, bro. You're six foot, dude. It was the problem is when I would mix booze and late nights and try and get laid. Like the, I would just, it was to a different level where yeah. it was like, man, I was like, I, and I felt like I did all this work. I just wanted to close, and I was like, I just kept ignoring all that stuff. There, Louis C.K. had a bit about it where you just ignore, ignore. But then you come and you're sitting there and like, why did I do any of this? You know what I mean? So well, it's, it's post not a clarity. Post not clarity. Yeah, yeah post not clarity. Like, it's a true thing. It's like, a true thing. I would try to eat. You know what I mean? Like, um, there. I think I have a thing where it's I'm, I'm like a viceaholic where I need some type of vice. So if I'm not gonna get laid, I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna do something. Right, so I would go to that. Jewel and I would just get a bunch of. In Illinois, I miss Jewel. Rest in peace. I live in Wisconsin now. <laughs> But at least we have quick trip. But anyways, we have Jewel, mm -hmm. and I would just get a bunch of chips, and I would eat or pick. I like I have to do something, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that was that was that was my vice. So no the, way. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Mm. Well, see, well, we we look at the things a little differently. We go yeah. either we eat well, we drink well. Yeah, or we fuck well. Or we yeah, fuck. never, never all three. Cannot. Never two. No, I don't like to eat and it's drink. Not this yeah. stage of life, not this yeah. stage no. of life. Man. It's either like I pick one. If I'm gonna eat well, I'm, that's what I'm doing. If exactly. I'm gonna drink well, that's a smart. Way that's to what do I'm doing. It. If I'm if I'm planning on sleeping with some, well, well, you know, my wife. Something? <laughs> you know, oh, you're married. No, I'm not married. <laughs> no, okay, not yet. <laughs> yeah, so, so to come. but um, <laughs> you you look, you're looking at the fingers. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But I'm saying like, if I'm doing that, it's just that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you have I, a girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. You're, so you're in a relationship, or you're yeah. you're still a hoe? Or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a relationship. Too, so. Oh, you too? No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. They don't know that. They don't know that. Right. But no, it is it is one of those things, man. You just can't do them all. Dude, I've, I've tried fitting all three. It doesn't work. It doesn't work, man. It's either one or the other. Yeah, I can't do you food and alcohol. Because when I drink, I mean, I drink hasta la pinche madre, you know what I'm saying? Me pongo hasta las chancas, my mom says, you know what I'm saying? And it's what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've, I've had this one thing that whiskey dick doesn't affect me, but... Uh, at an older age, you know what I'm saying? You start drinking a lot, it, it does affect you. you know yeah, saying? cocaine dick. That was a big <laughs> thing for me, allegedly. You know yeah, I mean? allegedly, yeah, exactly. That's, what, is, yeah. what is the difference? Uh, I, I never had whiskey dick, you know what I mean? I would, oh. My whiskey dick was like, I couldn't come, you know what I mean? Yeah, that happens too. Yeah. That that happens too. Couldn't, which, which is cool sometimes, but sometimes it's like <laughs> kind of like what I'd really care about coming or not. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the experience of having sex with a chick. I was like, this is cool. Look, her skin's touching mine. I was like, oh, this is, I'm You're like, nobody will believe I'm here right now. Hey, Roslaw, Roslaw. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but but the whiskey wasn't a thing and then but the allegedly the powder thing was a mm. thing and mm. i was like fuck and it's it's a fun it's a funny it's a funny drug because it's like you know it's gonna do it yeah so it's like you, you're you're like you're tempting fans like all right i'll just do a little not too much and you're trying to figure it out like and there's times where i've done too much and i'm just sitting there you don't you don't pop like a blue tree or anything like i that? do now oh, i yeah, where i started okay. no you know what i started to yeah. i well, this is what happened. I think I, I learned my lesson because I was with a girl and I was like going down there for like forty five minutes. Hey, dude, you got too much time. And bro. then the girl was minutes. You got, yeah, too, much, you I, got too much. I don't free think time. I ever made that girl come in my life. <laughs> to be honest with you, ever, dude. I was like never, like uh, whatever, you know. At least she didn't fake her. Anything. But I remember I was there and I was, she kind of like kept trying to get me up and I was like, yeah, in a second, in a second, because I'm just trying to bring my guy back to life. And he's like, <laughs> but he finally fucking did. And I was like, all right, cool, cool, because I was like. I didn't drive all the way these nah. 20 minutes or whatever. <laughs> you get high because it's like, I was like, you know, embarrassed. But it kind of, it finally, I finally got him going. And after that, really I went, yes, I went to um, James, can you pull up swag? <laughs> oh, the pills? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite the marketing. Um, swag pills? I just look at the market. No mark. way, dude. Look, look, click on the first one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let me explain. <laughs> let me describe. Um, <laughs> Want to hurt to kill? <laughs> made in the USA, right? Hey, this is not made in, in in China India. or uh, a Pangea. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not around anymore. But look, wonder. There's a stick figure with a guy with an erect penis. The girl's ass is on fire. It's flames. You remember mm-hmm. Jimi Hendrix when he yeah. set his uh, Stratocaster on fire with lighter fluid? <laughs> that's he's doing the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. He's being an artist. He died at 27. Wonder hurt it. Right, that's you either take the black ball or the pill, two to kill it. You take your sex trip for point. The other one, the girl is dead, and he's smiling. <laughs> he has an evil grin smile. Yeah, he, look, he looks a little angry. This yeah. looks like it's a character from a, these are these are Tim Burton characters. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the night before Christmas, so um, I don't like this one because I felt like oh. I don't know, jittery like yeah, like oh, those shit. pre-workouts. Yeah, this is they don't have a fucking domain. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they lost it. I guess I tried to go Jesus. to their website. Yeah. I'm gonna buy a domain right now, dude. Flip ah, fuck, maybe this isn't a very reliable uh, <laughs> a company. That dude, you yeah, trust? You, you trust? You, you know, know it, this me and my girlfriend. Gas station pills. No, well, I didn't give a fuck about anything, kind of. I was the type of, but my girlfriend found out I was taking them. And she's like, I don't want you taking this shit. Like, if you want, you can go to the doctor and you can get a Viagra. But you're like, I don't want you taking these pills. Like, you don't know what's in there. Like, that's not healthy. I don't trust that shit. Dude, I drank a Coca Cola at a golf course that I found a garbage can once because my friend was like, he's like, you won't drink that. I was like, I, I never gave a fuck about anything. Now I am having a kid. I think about things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, wait, public notification. There's hidden FDA drugs. warning on it. The Food and Drug Administration. Administration is advising consumers to purchase or use product. Oh, to not purchase. Not to purchase. <laughs> For sexual enhancement, including sex with drugs. You know, approved erectile dysfunction. When oh. they got it. Wait, when was that from? 14? High blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> high blood pressure. High, look, I remember heart disease. I was like, my sh- head was shaking. I felt like. It felt like kind of like. Have you ever had a four loco? Have you guys ever? <sighs> Dude, you know, I, had I, one I did not once. experience a four loco. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I did not experience yeah, it. James, did you ever drink a four loco? No. Um, my, my chosen drug was uh, what's what's called um, uh, um, the uh, wine cooler things. Oh, the, the Smirnoffs? No, not Smirnoff. Smirnoff no. ice. Smirnoff ice. Um, it Heart, was the, Mike's hard dominant. The cherry. Monaco. White Claw. Truly. Uh? Mike's harder or what is it? No, Mike's hard. Yeah, Mike's yeah, hard. Mike's Mike, hard. That was my shit back in the day, dude. Mike's, Mike's, Mike's hard. Mike's hard was my shit. Before I knew how to drink. Mm-hmm. Before yeah. I knew how to drink, that was that shit. Yeah, b- before we drink responsibly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? How'd you guys get in relationships? <laughs> You know, well, you're, I don't know what's going on with you. Well, wait, 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 uh, <laughs> he's a Mitch he, Hedberg he, judge. He has a mail. He has a mail order variety. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't live in the same country that we do. And you, um, <laughs> me, the, just the corny story, the high school girl, blah blah blah. blah. Loser, okay. loser. Blah, 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 dude. Blah, blah, blah. Do you guys ever get your ass eaten out? Tainted yeah. sexual enhancement. Tainted, tainted. <laughs> perfect, perfect timing. Yeah, let's, let's flip it. Let's flip it. Because you know, I guess in the Mexican community, people like me are frowned upon. Because you know, I like getting my ass eaten out. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm not, this is not an that. offer. Cheers this is not an offer. No, cheers uh, that. Cheers that. I, I'm willing. I'm willing to try everything. Um, certain things once. You know, turn what around. Saying? That <laughs> that type of stuff. <laughs> fucking, I'll shower up. Just go fucking kiss the balloon. Now I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. It was not my girl. It's a, it's a, it's a well, random no, chick. No. I'm so no, cool. With I want it. I want I'm it to so be cool my baby it. mama. And yeah, like kiss her in the mouth afterwards. Yeah, most people. Be, yeah, most people like. Oh, okay. I'm more like. Or another random girl. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, random girl. I don't give a shit. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Throw my legs up in the air. Let's go. You know. No, 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 no. But it's my. Yeah. What specify? You're saying retrieving, not giving. Retrieving. We're like he's receiving. 
Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Throw yeah. your legs yeah. up in the air. Yeah. No, no, but, no. But I'm saying, no. I thought you were asking if you, if you were like, hey, like, are you into that uh-huh. G- giving? Giving? I mean, yeah. obviously, yeah. yeah. Obviously, you're like you strangers. I love no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Not strangers. People I care about, maybe yes. Yeah. How are you? I'm a, I'm a proud Christian man, dude. I don't know what <laughs> the, the fuck you're talking about, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. All right, man? Get the fuck out of here, man. I was in Orlando. Yeah. It was, at a, it was in a hotel, right? I was there God for damn. work, allegedly. Uh, maybe a, a mini golf show, right? I yeah. sell mini golf equipment. It's part of the things mm-hmm. I sell at my day job. And then um, there used to be a website called Backpage, I mm-hmm. believe. I don't mm-hmm. remember. It's, it's grainy. It's called Backpage. Uh, right? Glorious Backpage. <laughs> so... Joe Rogan, there was a chick, she was having a documentary. She was like, this website is horrible. And I was like, what website? Found it, whatever. <laughs> uh, so I'm in Orlando. I get a Puerto Rican hooker. Uh, she comes out of my hotel room. And I was like, hey, lip, can I can I eat your ass? She was kind of, maybe she, she seemed clean enough. So then I was like, and she's like, she's like, oh, oh what, I remember what she said to me. This is funny. She was like, oh, you Chicago N words without the hard R. She's like, you Chicago N words are nasty, just like my baby daddy, right? When I asked her, you're like, oh, he's from Chicago too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her ba- she's like, oh my god, my baby daddy's from Chicago. And it's like, all oh, you Chicago N words uh, without the hard R are are nasty. And I'm like, let me cool story. Let me dress. <laughs> And I was like, I'll pay extra. So I remember I grabbed the counter, and it was like ten dollars and thirty-seven cents. It was like whatever change yeah, I had yeah, left yeah. over. I grabbed it. I was like, this is good. She's like, all right, whatever. So and I get that my chicken later. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, my chicken, bro. And, um, Look at that Cuban sandwich. God damn it. It's Puerto Rican, bro, not Cuban. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, take that back. Take that back. But no, I like I like eating that smell. Like my girl the other day, I was smelling it. I I like it. I yeah. I'm a fan. What does of it remind you of? Uh, ass. <laughs> it's like well, we used to well, smell an ass. Well, we, we, you make you it seem like you distract out the shower or like after a hard day's no, work. After a hard day's work. Yeah. Right, when my girl's clean, uh, it's disgusting. Yeah. Like what? when she showered and her pussy doesn't smell, it's like, wow. I don't even want to be down there. Yeah. You know what wow. I, mean? I need like some type of stink. Really? And I, I, and I, I think I'll tell you why. Uh, I have a deviated septum. I have trouble smelling. Oh, I've always had trouble smelling. So I've always liked to smell things that are like strong because I can never, it's not good. It's hard for me to smell things. And so even as a kid, very distinct smells I really mm-hmm. liked. You walk around people smelling their anus. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, like dogs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, dogs treat each other, bro. I never, uh, but that's something, um, yeah, I, I never liked. All right. So you guys started the podcast. <laughs> Right, you guys were drinking in Belvedere. Yeah, yeah. Right, how is it out in Belvedere compared it's to Rockford? Fucking beautiful, man. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like I a, like the burbs, though. It's like an oasis, it's cool, you know. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, no, it, no. It's calm, man. Obviously, it's not so. the same. It's not the same uh, crime rate that it is here in the city. Oh, I did a show in Belvedere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for Marcos, I did a show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good old Mar- yeah. Hey, shout out to Marcos, dude. Marcos, shout Marcos Laura. Laura. Marcos yeah. Laura. Yeah. Good guy. Good guy. They're around forever. Good guy, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's still out there too, man. He's, he's killing though, man. He's doing his thing. Go for him. He's doing his fucking thing, dude. I don't know, but uh, um, across it was like in downtown Rockford. I did it was across the, the street. It was across the street from like some Mexican places. So it was like a pizza. Oh look, they have the old school uh, car things. Yeah, always. Is that a Miata next to that Mustang? <laughs> no, that's a Supra, isn't it? Zoom in. Let me just see that red one next to the the, the Mustang. I just want to see if that's a Toyota Supra or not. Uh, Oh no, it's a Mustang. Oh, it's another. It's a 5.0. Forget it. Forget it. No, they're all Mustangs. Uh, anyways, they're all Mustangs. So, like I was saying, I did your guys' podcast. Mm-hmm. That white girl listens to it. She messages me. She's like, "Hey, <laughs> you diss me." I like. She's like, "I don't care. Just don't waste my time." And I was like, "All right." I was like, well, "Let's kick it on Friday." Mm-hmm. And she's like, "She's down." So. I was like, <laughs> So you insult gr- me, but I'll see you Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's how most girls are, dude. When it comes to uh, that shit, dude. Like, well, how does that phrase go in Spanish? Las mujeres son como chicle, las más que le, los más que le, le los masticas, or masticas. Uh, yeah, the más que te pegan. I will say. You throw a little attention to them, bro. They they come back, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. The, the, yeah, there's a phrase in, in Spanish. Women are like gum more. You step on it more, they stick to you or something like that. There's a lot of funny Mexican, <laughs> Central yeah. American frame. But that Friday, I hung out with the white girl, right? Yeah, yeah. And then at the time. We were in Kenosha and where I live now with my girlfriend, baby mama. And then I told her that day, she's like, oh, do you ever do uh, the the drug, the alleged drug that looks like, is this color and it's powdery, right? Mm, mm. And I was like, yeah, during the week, weekends or something like that. So then we hung out. And the reason we hung out is because my baby mama, she has a son, 10 years old, and then she had her son that weekend. So then I was like, all right, let me hang out with this white chick. Because I felt like she's down, like. Stop. You already heard that yeah, I dissed you, yeah. whatever, like, yeah. you want to, you were going to have sex. <laughs> the next day, we all hang out, 
right? And then she's there with her sister, and then she goes full white girl on me. At the end of the night, she's like, what were you doing? Why were you going to the bathroom? My sister said she saw you go to the bathroom. Were you doing something? And I was like, yeah, I was. What were you doing? I was like, that thing I told you about yesterday that I do on weekends and during the week. Like, bitch, I just told you yesterday that I do this thing. Mm -hmm. And now you're getting upset. And then she's like, you're lucky I didn't punch you in the face. And then she's messaging me. I'll destroy your fucking life. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody messaged my family. And I apologize to her, whatever. But that was all after you guys' podcast. (laughs) And then next week. Yeah. No, that's that's that next weekend. (laughs) And then that Monday, I hung out with my girl, and then Wednesday, it was like Christmas Eve Eve, and I hung out again, and then I'd never left since, so that's That's basically what happened. And now I'm having a a baby. Where are your parents from? Where are you guys from? What kind of Mexicans are Uh, you? My dad's from Guanajuato. My mom's from Michoacan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, both are one from Guanajuato. Same thing? Are you guys related? No, No, luckily, man. No, look, I mean, look at him, dude. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at me. Five three, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're tall for a Mexican dude. He's right? tall, mm-hmm. man. He's not. Me- I, don't, I still don't think he's Mexican, bro. I've I've never seen Allegedly. paperwork. <laughs> I've never seen paperwork. I've never seen some DNA analysis. There's, 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 like, trips, there's nothing there, dude. His Spanish, <laughs> his Spanish is terrible. You guys you know, like chips? Uh, terrible. You guys like chips? Oh, we like chips. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, is this so dude? shout out to Erica Switzer, right? Can we pull up Erica Switzer's uh, Instagram real quick? Isn't this the the, the pinche contest? I don't no, know what this no, is. No. Yeah, that's what it is. But Erica sent me is these it? chips. Erica the, the ghost pepper, the ghost pepper chips, the ones like you people like cry about. And they're like, I. Eat. I hurt so she much. sent me these pocky chips, right? Because I'm Mexican and she's like, right. okay. So there's these. Sets these all shout out to Erica Switzer. She was oh, on podcast. Oh, you want to do some more? No, I'm gonna eat some oh. of these. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought I was doing an ad. I thought I was so doing an ad. Hey. Hey. No, she said I'm shout out to her because she sent me something, <laughs> right? What does the Kanye one say? I want to see real quick. Oh, it's just her show her dance. dance. Oh, awesome. I got to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we already passed the last day. Hey, hey, number one um, Sad Boys Club right there. Oh, bro, Simp. Simp of the year, bro. God <laughs> damn. Let's go. He was doing, wasn't he doing all this just for Donda 5? Or yes. Whatever? Dude. Obviously, man. So this looks like the spiciest one. Back. Freaking hot, freaking hot, super hot. Kind of hot. No, let me try it. Let's try it. This, it we'll, you guys, take, you yeah. guys got to try whichever one. No, I want to try, really? try one. I want to try one. The, I want to test my Mexican this on, on air. I got my Modelo here, bro, so I'm ready to fucking go. If it ain't spicy, I'm It's going to hurt coming in. It's going to hurt coming out, man, so. A little bit of a spice. That's it. I got to say, they're very bland. Like, there's no flavor. Yeah, there's no flavor. Maybe we'll it, have it ain't no Dorito nacho, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we we'll have COVID. Mm. Dorito nacho's good, dude. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, was, I thought I was gonna start crying or something. No, that's no, fine. Maybe all the maybe all the spices at the bottom of the bag like get settled or something. Do you guys want to try one? <coughs> I'm good. You want no. one? They're yeah, good. They're I mean, I mean, they're cool. They're not I good. Mean, they're not would good. I, would I eat this with my Subway <laughs> sandwich? Good. I would eat that with my Subway sandwich. Yeah. I mean, you, you would know. eat a lot of things with your Subway sandwich. Hey man, Subway right. sandwich. You no longer a five hour foot long. You go to Subway, bro. Subway, bro. It's, it's, it's I mean, it's not lo- I mean, look. I'd rather eat the yogurt, man. <laughs> the breads are allegedly made out of yoga mats. Mm. All right, Mexican. Stuff. The tuna's not even tuna. What are you guys' favorite uh, Mexican dishes? Some of the Mexican. I mean, food? I want to be honest with you. I, lo- I love tacos. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm stereotypical. Dude, yeah, go, Steak, right. lengua. Um, yeah. so I like lengua. Says I eat ass, so I like yeah. the crazy shit. <laughs> that's brain. You, oh, you want to you want you want to taste the ass, the cow ate. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? When you eat lengua, that's what you trying to say. Yeah, I do. I'm uh, I'm more of a. To be honest, when it comes to Mexican food, bro, it has to say a simple. Just frijoles con huevo, bro. It's just a whole... That's what I grew up on, you know what I'm saying? A little so bit... For me, the, the huevo's a little bit fried? Oh, it has like a fried. little bit, like over... Yeah, yeah. It has to be fried, bro. Fried fried huevo, frijoles fritos, some queso fresco, some some nice corn tortillas, you know what I'm saying? Hey, love it, man. You can't get more, more Mexican than that, I feel. How do yeah. you guys feel about... This is a controversial Mexican meal. I don't eat it at restaurants because it always sucks, and people love it or hate it. Or, in the words of Mitch Hedberg, somewhere in between. Mole. How do you guys feel about mole? Oh, dude, I had mole today, dude. Oh, really? But yeah. where do you get it from? Who makes it? Because my uh, aunt makes it. No, my mom makes it. Yeah. My mom Here. makes it, too. Yeah. Okay. Cause but this, here's the thing. When it comes out of Mexican mole, obviously, every little city, every state does it different. Yeah. In Oaxaca, different. they all have like a Either million. spicy, yeah. sweet, in between. All depends on what you want. But I'll say this much. I don't like a sweet mole. No. I, I like a little sweet, sweet with a tang. You know? Like, I like... Go ahead. Pull up mole real quick. I like spicy, bro. Spicy mole, dude. With some good ass pinche arroz. You some know that's, pollo. Ah, su madre, dude. That's mole is my uh, uh, what is it called? Def. What do, you, what do you call it? Your last meal when you die, right? Oh, death your row. Um, that's my death row meal. meal. Yeah, death row. Yeah. Yeah, yeah last so meal. It's, <laughs> yeah. 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 it's the last meal, I believe, sir. Uh, this is what I do. Well, before we get to the last meal, this is what I do at restaurants. 
every fucking one time I ordered more at a restaurant, I yeah. had to. I didn't. It fucking sucked. And then I got pissed because I paid for it. It was a whole thing. But when it comes to the mole, bro, you, you you need to do the research first. A specific place. No, no, no. You can't just have everyone's mole. They all no, suck. No. All the rest of suck. No, we well, gotta uh, do some research. No, well, here, here's the, here's the one thing that a lot of people don't talk about in the Mexican community. Every Mexican restaurant that's here sucks. Yeah. There's no. You take that back. There's no good. Me- <laughs> there's no. There's no good Mexican restaurants for us. You know what we know of. You know nothing's better than what we eat at home. Nothing's better than what we eat at home. Look, mole. I'll tell you this. I go to every fucking restaurant and I always try the mole. I yeah. ask them, hey. Let me try your mole. They, they gave it to me. And they're like, nobody They gave me that. a little thing, a sample. Because at one time, I got fucked over. They gave me a sample. I try it. And they're like, oh, would you like to order the mole? I'm, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me some tacos. Well, for, but, like, their other food is decent. The tacos are but, but it's not great, bro. It's not great. Like, no, for, for anybody who, who's not Mexican, food's phenomenal. But for us, I've never... I know, first of all, I don't, I don't even go to Mexican restaurants. He doesn't. I like, I, he why? Doesn't. Why, why, why the fuck am I going to go to Mexican restaurants where food is so much better at home? You know, I'll, I'll make some bomb ass tacos. I don't tacos. even talk to Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I, I try to avoid them at all costs. Yeah, like, no, but I mean, like, for Mexicans to go to Mexican restaurants, like, I, I, it doesn't make sense. His to mom's me. a great cook. His it's mom's a, my mom's a, a phenomenal. My, my mom's a great cook. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes no sense. Like, I'd rather go eat some fucking burgers, man. We, still, know, so. we still talk about a, a certain torta that his mom made fucking 11 years ago. We still talk about that, that day, that Well, moment. you talk about it. It's a I, beautiful moment. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful moment, dude. We go back to that story every once in a while, man. We're His mom abandoned him at 21. Oh, she at did? At the tender age of 23, she, uh, my family left me. Yeah, they, Where they, they went back to Mexico? No, they, <laughs> no. They, they, no dude, they literally, <laughs> they literally home alone him. Uh-huh. <laughs> he woke up. He woke up one day at his home, and they were they were gone. They were gone. Like, oh, where did they go? Like, where you guys go? Like, oh, we're at, we're at the new house. Uh, we see you then. Like, all right, cool, man. That Deuces. was it. <laughs> that was it. No, I have, a, I have a great relationship with my family. I have a great relationship with my mom. I have a great relationship with my dad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But my dad had to go down there for, for work. So it's just a nice little fun story, I like to say, you know. Where they go? Because one day they did just dip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where'd they go? Uh, Juliet. Oh, they Juliet. Go, yeah, Juliet. To yeah, the jail? Saying. Your dad got arrested? <laughs> no, no, no rest in here, bro. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're, it is. We're all uh, good You're Christian one of the, family. We're the good ones. <laughs> yeah, we're a good Christian family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you too? Nice. We're all Wait, Christian. Oh, yeah, so you guys Catholic, are... Catholic, Catholic. I was going to say, you ain't Catholic? No, no, we all Catholic, bro. Dirty, it's, dirty ass Catholics, man. It's funny dirty, when yeah. when you meet a, a, a non Mexican Catholic. Like I'm not even that religious, but they're like, yeah, they're like, oh, you're not Catholic. You got, you, it's, you know, it's like, what's what's up with these people? Like, why aren't they? Why aren't you Catholic? Like, yeah. what'd you do? Whatever. It's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. It's like you actually but read the it's Bible. Weirder. And go to church with, with, <laughs> with Christians with the Jehovah Witness. That gets weirder. I dated so many Jehovahs. Everybody oh, knows Jehovah. How the oh, fuck really? are you getting Jehovah, dude? Pre- I don't know. Like one of my best friends is Jehovah. Oh, they're trying to save you. That's why. Okay. Jehovah. Yeah, they're trying to save you. Uh, a chick I dated for 28 days is Jehovah. Oh, 45 minutes going down to her. She was Jehovah. That's the same chick we dated for 28 God, days at one point. 45 yeah. minutes. Dude. I give you props. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Yeah, minutes. I, do, I don't even open the door. You ever came yet? Yeah. Not my problem. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not my problem. But she never, never. I was like, what are we doing here? I'm pretty sure she never came. I was like, not even close. Bro, if I'm four fingers deep already, dude, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm like, bro, what more do you want? So, fucking, you know what I'm saying? But everybody, uh, <laughs> who is a Jehovah? Prince is Jehovah. Uh, the whole Wayne's is Jehovah. I know we had the Jehovah list here. Prince is Jehovah. Oh, the most, Wayne's the most famous Jehovah's witnesses. Yeah. What's uh the black rapper Morgan who's Freeman? also a comedian? What? Morgan Freeman's not Jehovah. Okay. Where did you see Donald Glover? Michael Jackson. Uh, but like, oh, Michael also, Jackson. Yeah, we have dirty, uh, you know, dirty Catholics. It's probably dirty. Michelle show Oh, Donald Glover. <laughs> Donald Glover. Yeah. Donald Glover. Yeah. yeah. Prince. Michael Jackson. Under it, Michael Jackson. Yeah, no Dwight D. Allen's hair was not Jehovah. Yeah. I'm saying it right Oh, he now. looks like it, dude. We he about he was it. raised yeah, Jehovah, yeah. but left as an adult. Okay, okay. Smart guy. Jerry. Ooh, uh, the Spice Girl. Spice Girl, yeah. Hey. Terrence Howard. Uh, that Hustle that, that tracks. That, B.I.G. <laughs> that's a lie, dude. B.I.G. was not Jehovah. This yeah, is, he was. What? He raps about it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That works. He's like, I won't take your blood if you don't give it to me. Naomi Campbell. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Who Naomi Campbell date? A lot of guys. Yeah, Wasn't she married to... <laughs> Janet Jackson. Okay, obviously she wish you have this. So all, Smith. all the Jacksons, I think. What's Patty Smith from the the one? What's her band? The fucking the Smiths, man. The Smith. <laughs> Venus Williams. Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. Do you guys anybody listen? He's a born again now? Christian now. What? Yeah. Props him. He yeah. was born outside of San Diego. Go back to Dave Mustaine. Do you guys know? You guys know Dave Mustaine? Uh, no, anybody? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know Dave Mustaine? I've heard of him. Megadeth. Stop lying. <laughs> but what, what band? Oh, yeah. He just said that. He yeah, just said that. Yeah. What band did he get kicked out of? 
Mega Megadeth. Well, yeah, no, hey. before he started Megadeth, he got kicked uh, uh, out of Pantera, right? Metallica. Metallica. He yeah. was in Metallica. Yeah, he was one of the original members of Metallica. He got kicked out and started <laughs> was Megadeth. He really? Peace out. So. Cool. I feel like I, an it, asshole it, not knowing it, it. As soon as I hear people talking about this, I'm like, let the body sit the, the fuck. fuck. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. That's all I got. This is one of my favorite intro bass riffs. Pull up P-Cells. You know P-Cells? Anybody? Does nobody. Hey, you drop a name, like, yeah, like people know who it is, man. Hey, man. What do you guys just listen to? Sure, Cody, those ain't no Come on, dude. You no, know, you hit up with a couple DJs. I'm, 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 I'm going to you know what I'm saying? Let me just hear the beginning of P-Cells. I love this bass riff. So we know it's weird. get pulled for this. Yeah, I yeah I get copyrights all the time. I'm not even monetized yet. Yeah, start from the beginning. Oh, I love this. Yeah. And here comes the guitar. I'm having my white boy moment right now. I got him. Right, did, you, did you just nut it, bro? You just nutted, man. This is a classic, oh. dude. Oh, my God. I fucking love metal. All it's right. good. I fuck with it. Uh, but that Damon's, he's who, Sherry Shepard. Who's that? Sherry Shepard. Is she on cutie. The She's View? Chicago. She's a little cutie, I'm saying. All the Wayans. All the Wayans. All Keenan. the Waynes and Jacksons, Jill Scott. Ja Rule. Ja. Selena. Ja. Ja. Selena. 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 Get the fuck out of here. That, you know what? That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're what happened with her dad? dad? They're kind of weird. Exhibit. Oh, yeah. Like ja, Tito, right? Yeah. Exhibit. Pit my fucking Jehovah. <laughs> Who the fuck is Coca Rocha? And why she look white? No idea. Larry Graham, I Sean Wayans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whittaker. All right, cool. All right. Next list. Nah. What, what is that? Another list. All the Catholics. <laughs> all, okay, all, all, all the Lutherans. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right. Who gives a shit with the fucking hey, Lutherans? Hey, Lutherans are just Lutherans? another version of Dirty Catholics, bro. That's all. Isn't is yeah, that? That's all, yeah, that's all it is. Jeff Bridges, dude. Jeff Bridges, he's cool. It's Jeff Bridges. How about with him? Ha- Hasselhoff? Hey. The Hoff, dude. Oh, pull up David Hasselhoff. Pull up the video, please. James. Which of which video? When he's eating the cheeseburger? <laughs> Come on, dude. The, okay. Uh, the one he's in the it's bathroom? It's been so long. It's one of my favorite videos. And then we'll pull up my video afterwards. You can watch it. Is it the you, one with the hearties? It? He's like calling his daughter a fat pig. Oh, no, that's yeah. that's Alec Baldwin. <laughs> you know, no, his daughter's right? recording him. His daughter's... Ah, su madre. What, what daughter a shitty recording. daughter, huh? To selecttv.com. The video reportedly shot three months ago in Las Vegas by Hasselhoff's six year old daughter Taylor shows the star lying on a floor wearing only a pair of jeans eating a hamburger. So, Dad, you need to promise me you're not going to get alcohol tonight, okay? What? You need to promise me you're not going to get alcohol tonight. On toy? Okay? That's been wrong a couple of years now with the family. Tonight, you're fired from your show tomorrow. <laughs> And the doctor is coming over here in the morning to check your alcohol level. <laughs> and if you have any alcohol in your system, you're going to be fired. What is show. this, dude? Tomorrow. <laughs> You hear me? This is sad. <laughs> yeah, this is depressing. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Why throw that up there? I saw Daft Punk. Hey. T- oh, yeah. Rip. Television program, Entertainment Tonight. You guys are fuck out of here, man. Look at him, look at him. You know, that was my daughter, yeah. out of the will. <laughs> out of the will. You promise me you're not going to get alcohol tonight, No question. Okay? What? <laughs> <Is it right? laughs> Let the man live his fucking life. Don't fucking hassle. So that was his hassle. daughter. Yeah, don't hassle the hoff. Don't hassle the yeah, okay, yeah. hoff. Don't hassle. <laughs> hassle off. That was his daughter uh, recording him. Tell him, please don't drink. You're going to get fired from your job. Yeah. Whatever. Fucking now, t- go to Let's the Alec. Let's come move. Go to the Alec Baldwin video. Remember? When he's shooting somebody or before? No, no. Oh, okay, he's okay. His, <laughs> he calls his daughter like a fat pig, right? Awesome, mother. Alec Baldwin, daughter, fat pig. <laughs> we all remember this one, don't we? Oh, this pig. Oh, no way. You don't remember this? She, hold on, let me see this. Was there a video attached There's a, to this? It's an audio no? recording. There should be an audio recording where he calls Damn. her. She's hot. That's know, <coughs> There's an audio recording where he calls her like a f- fat pig. She's uh, fucking what hot, is bro. This? Is she blind? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no. That's also his daughter. <laughs> No. Wait, he's not going to be like, man, you're so hot. <laughs> it's his daughter, dude. <coughs> it's better that he calls her a pig than Ooh, hot. That fucking... I know. That one got me. Oh, that's dude. the bottom of the shit. Or audio or something like that. There's an audio recording where he's calling... She's fucking... If that's a fat pig, bro... Throw he called her a Throw rude, thoughtless little pig in Throw 2007. Way, oh, yeah. It was a voice mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but not only that, but, but remember when um, um, Dog the Bolly Hunter... We, he went on that racist tirade. Oh, dude! Because one of his daughters was um, um dating a black guy. I remember. Uh, uh, but I thought the, the the black community gave him the pass though. No, they didn't. Oh, that's, that's what he said in his interview. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, 
Come on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the, do you guys remember the Hulk Hogan one? Yeah, Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hulk Hogan N word. I tape? don't think we can watch that because it's a sex tape. The sex tape. Okay, okay, that's what that is. Oh, yeah. was sex tape? He did it on. Yeah. Oh, when when he was it not man cow, but it was pig cow. No, it was uh man fucking cow pig. Oh, what the fuck is the guy? It's called? a guy from Florida, the Tampa radio yeah. DJ. He was one of his best friends, and his yeah. best I think friend. It's man cow. I think it's man cow. No, it was his it best was, friend. Yeah. It was some other cow. <laughs> some other white cow. Ass cow. <laughs> So it was one of his best friends. He was a radio DJ from mm-hmm. Tampa, Florida, and he was like, "Hey, I want you to fuck my wife, because I want you to fuck." Hey, the... I mean, that's a friend right there, huh? You know what I'm saying? Not the kind of friends I want. He's but... somebody asked me to do that. I mean, like, okay, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Hold on. It was fucking. Uh... Oh, it's killing me that I don't know his name. Cow pig, because I... that guy was friends with like Kreischer, wasn't he? Brent yeah. Kreischer all the time would go on to show him <laughs> pig, pig, cow pig. Uh, mm-hmm. come on, CNN, come is, through for us, CNN. This is great content for everyone, by the way. Everybody's <laughs> listening. Sitting here yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel bad. I'm LordVegas.com. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh. Are they... hey, brother. Hey, brother. Yeah, yeah. Hey, brother. Come on, brother. Bubba the Love Sponge. God. Bubba the Love oh, Sponge. Hey, hey, nowhere near what yeah. you were saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But it was, you know, like cow. Like a, <laughs> the cow. You know, he's a sponge. Killer can... fucking stash, though, man. I tell you that much. That's sick. We're all. Before he we went on the end. No, I like your. There's a one clip with um, Booker T. He's doing like a promo for oh, WWE. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. This is one of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming for you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then as soon as he does, like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for this, to make a pull up to Booker T. Oh, the yeah. Booker T. That T's we can watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's watch that. Because you could tell the look on his face. He's like, oh, oh he's fuck. Like, I, I just fucked up. I'm going to lose my job. Oh, we're not in the hood, huh? Like. It just came out. Yeah, it was the best. Look at that. Look at that chest. I'm talking about a click. The only click you need to know about is the Harlem Heat and Sister Sherry. See, because what you're dealing with here is the brotherhood. It's nonstop from this point on in WCW. We take what we want. And after we take Lex Luger and the Giant, we want the gold sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, Booker, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, he, think about it. He think thought it was white for a minute. He thought it was white for a minute. This is the eighties. Yeah. And he knew he fucked up. I know. Imagine, I mean now he I mean he would probably be um he gotta get an award at this point. <laughs> yeah. But back, <laughs> but back then look at him. And look at her, she's <laughs> like, ah bro. She's like, Damn. Hey, don't worry, she's like, don't worry, she's trying conversation. She's like, hey, all the steroids? All the steroids though? No, I I'm mean thinking. the best kind. The best kind. The best but kind. he ran for mayor of Houston, right? Booker T. He didn't win? No, he didn't. But I think Booker T ran. I'm pretty sure he ran for mayor of Houston. Um, but anyways, what so when was that word okay to say on on, on air? Because we remember um, with uh, Dave Chappelle, he said all the time, bro. When yeah, was that okay yeah. to start saying? He kind of broke that mold yeah. himself. Chappelle was like yeah. the first one, like in in mainstream TV at least. He's like, mm-hmm. I'm saying it. Because, like, Comedy Central was kind of at the forefront with, like, South Park and shit. Yeah. They were, like, fighting all the censors for everything. Yeah. And Chappelle remember. was the one that kind of broke that for... The N word. All right, one, two, three, N word. No, no, but <laughs> yeah, I'm five percent black. I can see. Yeah. I'll, I'll drop it right now. Allegedly. I'll drop allegedly. it right now. <laughs> um, Puerto Rican. Um, Puerto Ricans. You guys hate Hondurans or who's Puerto Rican here? Yeah. No, nobody. You guys oh. are. Are you <laughs> yeah, from yeah, Guanajuato no, no. too? No, no. Where are you from? Zacatecas. Zacatecas. Yeah, boo. <laughs> Have you? <clears throat> all right, Mexican restaurants all suck. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean that's a given. I mean that's, that's a some given. good ones. That's given. Nah, no, no, that's given. Unless you unless you go to Mexico and you're eating there, it's a different story. Ah, but here, they do you have suck. a favorite spot here? In like no, that? no, because they all suck. Favorite spot? I have one here in Chicago actually. Right. Uh, Totonilco on thirty six. Uh, oh, Street. in Pilsen, right? I don't I don't know what that area is. It's Pilsen. Yeah, it's in yeah. Pilsen, right? It's in Pilsen. Yeah. Right on, right in front of the laundry mat. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking fire. Right, in Little Mexico. Right, you keep going straight, Little Mexico. No. Oh no, that's La La Villa. Is La Villa? The, okay, I'm, the, I'm not too sure, dude. I'm, little village. Little village. Yeah. Little village. I'm sorry. Little village. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. My dad. My dad hung out there for a few weeks. Yeah. At a place called Cook County Jail. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's because it, when you go, because all right, this is an. We used to go, like once a month. There's a, there's a jail, right? Mm-hmm. And you go to Little Village. Yeah, you yeah. get the discount mall, that I used to go to. Yeah. We used to go once a month. And is it in the arches or past the arches? Oh, it it passed right either I don't know because you pass the arch you start going straight and the jail's gonna be to the right you know what I'm saying the jail's gonna be right there 
No, the jail's before the arches. Unless I'm coming, I'm coming from well, the I'm east. Saying, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up. Exactly. You know, you've been in a little village, right, James? Or you yeah. know where it's at. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go over there. I remember when I was a kid, it was funny because you go over there and you had everybody giving. Uh, Actually, I got, I got Nikas. when I was a little kid, I got ran over in Little Village. Me, Why? I, what happened? I crossed the street and I was <laughs> my mom. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> shopping. I think it was like four, two or three. <laughs> I, I crossed the fucking street. Fucking car just hits me around the ribs. <laughs> Doesn't kill me because it wasn't going that fast, but still taps me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everyone's making commotion. And my parents are like, oh, what's going on? All of a sudden, they see me. <laughs> what was going on? Fucking street. Yeah, obviously, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And, um, well, I, mean, I got an accident in Little Village. You know what I'm saying? Little Village yeah, and other yeah, places yeah. kind of get me a little. If I, wasn't, if I was dead, I wouldn't be here, obviously. You know what I'm saying? So They make me. You're, you're welcome, thank, thank I didn't you. pay the guy enough. Like, <laughs> they make me a little bit. Like, Berwyn, Little Village. I get a little bit jealous of those places. I get I guess horny. Because when I go over there, mm. right? It's like there's all these Mexicans that live there. But yeah. they're, they're Chicanos, basically. Yeah. Like when you go to Berwyn, you go to Cigars, Cigars and Stripes, one of my favorite places. They used to do comedy over there. The owner name is Ronnie. He was a wrestler. They have my favorite wings. But everybody there, it's like it's Mexican, but it's they're like Chicanos. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They grew up here. They're like, uh, I don't say like us, but like me. You know, I was like, holy yeah. shit. And I didn't grow up like that. So I see it. It's like a whole little community. So I always thought it was cool when I would go to Little Village or the South Side. There's a whole thing. There's a whole thing in Pilsen or something like mm -hmm. that. And I didn't have it because I grew up in a in a place called uh, Waukegan, this piece of shit, <laughs> fucking. So <laughs> Detroit in the Midwest, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> or, or worse. <laughs> like I was getting my hair cut the other day by a Puerto Rican barber in this uh, house thing. He's like, "Man, Giovanni, like you hear all these more shootings we're getting," and then was like, oh, "Just Waukegan straight more, <laughs> more into a shithole." Um, <laughs> can you pull up the? Do you like guys like Puerto Rican chicks? Yeah, no, yeah, I dabble. James, pull up uh, yeah. Victoria's. <laughs> I dabble with whatever breeze, nah, goddamn. Nah, right. We're gonna pull up <laughs> whoever likes me, right? Pull up yeah, Victoria's yeah, Secret Down Syndrome, real quick. Oh, oh shit, dude. Pull it up. Puerto Rican, right? Puerto Rican. I don't Go to have images. No clue, dude. Never Go to images. What? I've oh, seen okay. a whole bunch of TikToks of this already, man. All right. A whole bunch of TikToks. So this is the first. Uh, I think she's Puerto Rican, right? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> Sofia Hidal. Hidal. Oh yeah, yeah Puerto, Puerto Rico. So when I saw this, um, it's all reminded me of uh, the David Tell joke, right? James, you remember the I, joke? Yes, I do. So David Chow is working. He's I can't remember the joke, but he's working at a, a fuck. What was the name of the joke? Basically, he's working at a restaurant. Can you pull up? It's Skanks for the Memory real quick. This feels so wrong. What? Pull up Skanks for the Memories. I just want to see the playlist and see if I can find the joke real quick. Uh, this Growing up is one of my favorite comedians. Jewish, right? He has a funny dinosaur Mexican joke. Uh, I'm just... Let's see. What track is it? Drinking Tips. Is it Drinking Tips? The Unfuckables? No, no. Uh, <laughs> drinking Tips. Go to Drinking Tips. Go to Drinking Tips. We can't play this on the fucking podcast. Uh -huh. We cannot play this. We could play it. I'm not monetized. I just, player, I just get hit with a copyright infringement, but then they let me slide. <laughs> let, me, let me find it. Like, I don't want this air, episode air anyways, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, the YouTube just hits me with a copyright claim, yeah. and they just give them a revenue or whatever that I'm going to get, but they don't bother me besides that. Okay, okay. It's just copyright claim. Every episode. Yeah, the last but, five yeah, episodes. Yeah, but isn't it, if you, once you get through Drink it up, No, they don't. Drink it up. Okay. Fast forward a little bit, because it's more than... I've learned drunk. There's no way ever to talk your way out of wiping your ass. No, keep going. You black out. Yeah, there it is. Black out. Leave it here. McDonald's. There it is. Working there about three years. Still not assistant manager. You want to quit, but you're banging that girl on the fry later. <laughs> here it is. They say she's retarded, but those, those titties, titties ain't retarded. retarded. <laughs> All right, you can block it there. All right, you guys got any plugs? Anything coming up here? <laughs> Fucking God, dude. Hey, hey, after that, man, um, <laughs> I don't condone or... Uh, no, I'm kidding. Plug, you want to plug your social media, your podcast? Are we done? Here. Yeah, we're writing down. Oh, oh shit. Done? 50 minutes. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, okay. Guys. <laughs> of course, on Instagram, uh, Daily Don Insomnia. Uh, check us out. Different posts. Um... I'll do it. We'll try, we'll try, right, so, yeah, guys, guys. Um, follow us at Daily Sound Podcast. Yeah. We're on every podcast station mm -hmm. available. Um, we have weekly episodes. We do mixology videos. Um, I mean, it's basically just a fun time. Like, we, when you guys come and watch us, listen to us, it's just good vibes. We're going to drink all around. and laugh. Drink and yeah. laugh. That's what our podcast is. You know, um, yeah, follow us at DailySound.com, Daily Sound Podcast on YouTube, mm -hmm. Daily Sound Podcast on all podcast stations. 
everything spotify itunes um podbean you know, they got the candles Anchor. yeah yeah, 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 got the candles. Santos, yeah. oh Santos. shit yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we do it all man we do yeah. it all and then um in coming up in the future we're gonna be having um monthly um comedy shows so yeah. stay tuned for that as well got a lot, a lot of stuff in the works man james you want to plug yourself uh, stand up, stand up is back, motherfucker. Woo! Uh, every Thursday night at 9 p.m. at Zany's Chicago. Uh, we're back March 3rd. We, we this is in the future, so we've already had. Uh, we've been back, bitch. And uh, Eric and Nicole Clark crushed uh, our first show. That was March 3rd um, with the whole crew. You got Blake Burkhart. You got Michael Robinson. You got Eric Emerson. You got Michael Myers. You got Mo Good. You got the whole fucking crew. Every single Thursday at Zany's uh, in Chicago at 9 p.m. Uh, go to standupstandup.net. For tickets, uh, Fab Monroe, I don't know when this comes out, Fab Monroe is March 10th, Ooh. and then we're doing our uh, our mix show, it's a it's an annual show with all the Irish comics we can fucking find in Chicago, uh, on March 17th at 9pm as well, I'm sure Jim Flanagan will be in there, he's Irish, probably Joe Kilgallen. Irish and town. Mexican. And Mexican, yep. um, it's a fun mix, right? Isn't Louis C.K. Irish or Mexican? Yeah, he's white he's Mexican, like Jewish, I don't know what the other part Jewish is. Jewish Mexican. Jewish Mexican, yeah. Something like some type of Mexican. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't have Louis, but we have Jim Flanagan. So come <laughs> come March 17th to Zany's uh, at 9 p.m. And then, uh, yeah, standupstandup.net for tickets. Tickets are only 20 bucks to get into the legendary Zany's Comedy Club. And this is our 10th year running. So come come support a, a legacy Chicago right, showcase uh, at Zany's. Thank you guys very much. All right, follow Lobo Podcasts Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, Lobo Den Podcast, Patreon, Lobo Den Podcast. And if you want to support the podcast, go to lordvegas.com, lordvegas.com. Any vice, we're talking about vice lords, GDs. Are you a vice lord, right? You allowed? You Go to Lord Vegas. Yeah, hey, what's you, up? What up, loud? Go to Lord Vegas. Use the promo code Lobo Den. Get 25% off. Oh, do you have an unregistered firearm? And you want to put it? Look at this bag, right? Some what may a, say. Some may say. So off the serial number, put it on this bag. Are you having a turf war, right, with another 15-year-old on the south side of Chicago? Yeah. You want to take him out in style? Go to LordVegas.com. Uh, <laughs> Lemon runner <laughs> t-shirts, hats, hood jackets, wallets, bags, independent and compromise. Elevate your lifestyle. And take out that little punk who's been trying to fuck your sister with your uh, 380 because you can't, the guy you were buying crack from doesn't have a 9mm. But you can put in one of these stashless bags and use lordvegas.com, get 25% off. I get a cut of this so I can use it for the baby or I can use it for uh, sexual things. <laughs> I want to buy this gaping thing that opens up your baby mama's asshole so you can pee in it. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I want to pee in Jessica's asshole. Okay, look at that. Send me news. Love.